Champions League, vast experience of two-legged matches. How do you balance that need to score goals and the all-out attack approach against knowing that conceding could make the tie no not impossible to come back from? Yeah, good morning. Uh, of course, to, to, to go through, you have to make almost the perfect game. So create a lot of chances, be clinical when you create the chances, concede few chances, and the chances we're going to receive, you know, defend well and our keeper save it, uh, all the conditions. And so you have to make the almost perfect game to, to go through because the result is tough. It's with zero, but you have 90 minutes in football, in all the sports, basketball, in all the sports, everything can happen. So only we can do and know is we are going to do is try it. And we'll see. Of course, we don't have to think about how many goals you have to score. You have to score the first one. And have to try to make the second one. And we'll see if uh, the momentum, the good momentum that's happened in the Champions League, try to, to do it longer as possible, and, and we're going to see. Do you feel that your players have been damaged psychologically by what happens at Anfield and then what happened at the weekend? So I don't know, but... Uh, if we are not able to do that psychologically, it will be a good lesson for the future because we are not here for just a few months or for a long period, especially that players. And uh, we are going to see that is a good test. Football, like life, is a challenge and is new one. And we are happy to handle it. And we're going to see what happens because the result is tough, but it, another result in Anfield will be tough as well. So because everything can happen. You know what we have to do to try to attack, of course, to try to avoid the counterattacks. And we have 90 minutes plus extra time. And uh, what we show in this year, even in the last game, we are able to create a lot of chances in a few, few, few minutes. And we know that. And the opponents know that. Also. Do your players, you mentioned it last week, do your players believe they can do this? And what have you said to them? to make them believe they can do it? But I think, I think that the competition for itself to reach the semi-final would be the second time in our beautiful history. Second time in, in, in to be there, it's enough. I don't think you have to talk too much about the motivation or how beautiful it is. So the way they play all the season, all the season and every single game, show what they want to do. So I know when we judge the results, but the performance, so my team is extraordinary. So my team is no comparable for many others. You know, it's, it's top. My team is exceptional. So I will be close to them no matter what happened here until the end of the season. So it's a joy to be manager of the team, even three days ago, the way we played. So. I'm so delighted.